What's going on YouTube? My name is Heat Ledger and before I get into my sneaker collection video, I want to provide you guys with a really quick introduction. Alright, so the video you guys are about to see was originally intended for Kais Omar um, and Crew Kicks. Basically, Crew Kicks um, features YouTubers and some of their collections and puts their video on the channel. I sent in uh, photos of my collection to Kais and the Crew Kicks team back on August 8th. I got an email back um, October 27th that said, we'd love to have you on the channel. Um, all you have to do is make a video and hit all these points. Basically, it was just like, you know, keep it funny, keep it entertaining, no music, you know, really show your personality, that kind of stuff. I was ecstatic for the opportunity because, you know, as a smaller YouTuber, I'm trying to grow my audience and I felt, you know, if I have a video on his channel, which has tons and tons of subscribers, he's like the biggest sneaker YouTuber um, out there right now, that some of those people would come by and maybe check out my channel that didn't know about it before. So anyway, I started making my video I spent about two days making it. Um, I drove back to my parents' place. I had to pick up all my shoes because I can't fit them all in my condo here. You know, I created a script. I laid them out all on the floor, as you guys will see, and I was really happy with the result. I submitted my video to Crew Kicks in early November, and I just didn't hear back. I don't want to go into all the nitty-gritty details because it's kind of petty, but um, I did send several emails, you know, tweets, Twitter DMs, Instagram DMs, commenting on his videos. It got to a point where, you know, from November until now, in January, I didn't hear anything. Um, so, I was kind of just like, well, it doesn't seem like this is going to happen anymore. I'm making this video because if you guys have made it up to this point, I hope you can take this YouTube share URL and tweet it at Kais Omar because I want him to at least see this introduction. This isn't to put him on the spot and make him feel bad because he didn't feature me, um, he's got a million other things to do. I, I completely understand. Um, he's a huge YouTuber. He doesn't really have time to maybe worry about you know people like me. But I understand I'm not the only one that went through this. I'm not the only one that spent uh, hours of their own time putting together their collection video um, and then just kind of being ghosted on. Again, super grateful to have even been given the opportunity to have even uh, received an email back but if someone sets out to, to do something, if someone says, I'm going to do this, then I expect them to, to follow through with it. Or at the very least, reply back and say, hey, look, I got way too much going on in my life right now. We're going to have to put this on pause. Again, this isn't just for me. It's for, you know, I know there's a lot of other people that went through the exact same thing. With that said, Kais, still really respect you. Thank you for the opportunity. What you guys are about to see is the video that would have been on his channel. So just keep that in mind. Some of the jokes may not make sense. Um, without that context. But again, I appreciate you guys watching. If you do have a moment, tweet it at Kais Omar. Hopefully he checks this out. That would be dope too. I'm going to do heat. Let me know in the comments what you think. Peace. Mom! Mom, it finally happened! I'm gonna be on Crew Kicks! Crew, what? No, Mom, Crew Kicks, you know, Kais, Harris? Who? Rice? Carrots? And kimchi? No, Mom, Crew Kicks, you, you never understand. Go to your room and play violin, now! But Mom, I'm, I'm 34 years old, I, I have a full-time job, I, I don't even live here. All right, what's up YouTube? My name is Heat Ledger, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my sneaker collection. Before I start, a big thank you to the Crew Kicks family for letting me do this. I really appreciate it. All right, so I've been making YouTube sneaker videos for about two years now, and for those that don't know me, I am considered by other YouTubers as probably the doo-doo stain on the sneaker community. So with that said, if you do wanna check out my channel over at Heat Ledger Kicks, that'd be really dope. All right, so a little about me. I've been collecting sneakers probably since around 2005. Like most people, I had an interest in sneakers as a kid, but I didn't have the money to be able to buy shoes. As I got older and I started working, I could finally afford to buy some of these shoes. So fast forward to like 2013, I had around 300 pairs of shoes, like crazy. But what you're gonna be seeing today is about 90% of my collection. The other 10% is way in storage. 
but since 2013, I've sold a lot of my shoes. And just a few weeks ago, I probably sold like 50 pairs because I just moved in to this condo. Priorities changed and I have to sell shoes to be able to afford a bigger down payment. But fortunately, I was able to hang on to a few pairs, so that's what you guys are gonna see today. I'm excited to show you guys. Let's jump into this. Oh yeah, and before anyone says anything, I think I should address the TV on the floor. Um, I'm waiting for a wall mount to come in, but feel free to roast my ass. I thought I'd kick things off with my grail. These are a one of one Japan exclusive. You cannot find these in your size. If interested, please DM me. No low ballers. Shoes are in VNDS condition. No trades for your stupid Jordans. All right, all jokes aside, these band ones are my favorite shoe right now in my collection. I've probably worn these like 10 times since they came out and they just look better and better with wear. Really, really happy with this pickup. I really don't care what anyone says. These are quite possibly the ugliest Jordans ever made, Jordan 16. Strangely, I still like them. They're like your really ugly son that you just can't give away. All right, next up we got the What The KD6. I actually got these for retail. Carmine 6s, Oreo 5s. Got the Cav 4s from 2012. Got the Whiteout Cocaine, Triple White Ultra Boost. The must in every hype beast sneaker collection. Got the Pink Stink White Infrared 6s. All right, these ugly ass shoes were a collab with Grey Goose. Next up, one of my favorite non-OG colorways, the Jordan 4 Toro. These are the first string marble pack Converse, but I like to call them the testicle Tuesdays. I mean, check those veins, man. All right, I like to call these boys the watermelons, but they're just the lunar fly knit twos. We got a pair of creative recreations. I got these for 30 bucks, and at the time, all that like high fashion stuff was coming out, and these have a very similar look. Um, I typically just wear these on date night. You know, that's if I can get a date. God, I'm lonely. All right, we call these the doo-doo browns, but really they're the Converse winterized boot. These are completely waterproof. I cannot wait to wear these. Straight up, that gum sole is too dope. The Nightshade Jordan 11 Low. He got game 13s, probably one of my favorite shoes of all time. Got a pair of Jordan 11 Breads. These are pretty creased up. I just got these um, in a trade, but what's interesting is that I camped overnight for these in 2012, um, and I ended up selling them, and I'm happy that I finally been able to reacquire them. Jordan 6 Infrareds from 2014. Got a pair of T-Max here. My friend's brother Nick gave me these. Really sweet shoe. All right, we got the Papa Cherry 13s. These actually drop in 2017 again. I got some Beater Gucci ones for winter. Got the New Balance 006. Burgundy 5s, an absolute classic from the mid 2000s. Bread 13s, cement 4s from 2012. Notice the jump, man. All right, New York City is known for its giant rats and halal carts. These Tims are also a New York City staple. I love rocking these up here in Toronto with that crazy winter snow as well. These are dope. These are an original model of the Gazelle from 1971. Someone said, this pair in particular could fetch around $700. Um, my dad actually got these for me at a thrift shop. So we did a little exploring. They are DS and the materials are really, really nice, but they do belong in like a museum or something. Van Skate Highs, Chicago Ones. These are the Converse Modern, Auckland Modern. They are a runner. Puma suede, absolute classic. Everyone should have this shoe in their collection. This is the fourth pair of black cement threes I've owned. I've absolutely destroyed every pair. This is a must in every single person's uh, collection, in my opinion. Looks great with everything. Kobe fours, again, my friend's brother gave me these because every time I go to his house, I'd be like, man, those are so fresh. And then one day he's just like, you can have these. So thank you. This is actually my dad's pair of Converse from the mid 1970s. Some Jordan 9 Lows I'm looking to restore. Got a pair of Chucks. These are probably one of the most slept on shoes in a long time. When I heard these were retroing, I knew I had to get these, I would pay resale. Now you can see these in the clearance, in the outlet for like 50% or more off. 
I highly, highly suggest you get your hands on these. Or if you don't like them, then don't bother. But when I was growing up, I would see this shoe. I knew I have to get it. And then once they retroed, I, uh, I just need to get them in my collection. So really happy I got these under retail. I got two pairs of the True Blue 3s, the Jordan 6 Varsity from 2010. These are the breast cancer foams. Um, they're very special to me because they signify something that's an absolutely devastating condition. So when you wear these, um, they definitely show your support and awareness for something that we need to put an end to. We got the Playoff 8s. This is a really, really dope shoe. Cherry 12s. I actually got these at a thrift shop for $7. I repainted them, I restored them, now they're one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Three Lab Fives. All right, if you guys watch my older videos, you would know these as the Ragu Fours. Before, um, they were customized by someone else, covered in like red spaghetti sauce. I stripped the paint as best I could, and then I started painting them black. I wanna turn these into an OVO custom. We had the Jordan 4 Breads from 2012. Laney Fives, of course, gotta have these. These are the Wiz Khalifa Converse. I always thought these were actually kind of hideous, but I still have them for some reason. Playoff 13s, dimples looking like acne scars. Got a pair of these black Wizard 17s. We call these the Little Mermaids. These are the Seashell Jeremy Scott Adidas. These are quite possibly the ugliest sneaker ever made, ever. Dude, these were a huge come up fine from the thrift. I got these for eight bucks. These are the OG 1989 Reebok pumps. It's missing some paint because I put these in a um, glass case and I lay them down. And then when I picked them up like six months later, part of the shoe like <laughs> stayed in the box. It like ripped off, I guess due to oxidization. Well, now they feel like they're about to crumble on me, but this is always a shoe I'm gonna keep in the collection. Flint 13s, I always thought this colorway was really, really nice. Got a pair of Converse boots here. They're great for the winter. Um, I still love that wheat color here. Um, it's a nice alternative from the Tims. Thunder 14s. These Pumas are from the New Year's Eve pack from a couple years back. Very, very flashy. I only wear these once in a while. These are the DT Air Max 96. Um, they're based on the professional baseball and football player, Deion Sanders. These are his shoe. A lot of history in the shoe. Heavily slept on. One of my favorites. Got some Concord 11 Lows. We got some 11s, the Cool Grays, and the Gammas. Fighter Jet Foams, these are dope. Some Free Runs. We got some Thunder Fours. And then these are kind of dope. This is one of my first customs, the Jordan 3 Yeezy. It was an all black colorway and then I painted the bottom with the glow in the dark paint and then you gotta wear a sole protector on them or else the paint's gonna come off but yeah that's that these are a Converse collab I forget what the collaboration is with but they are very out there the material is really really nice though um, I've only worn these once but I gotta wear these again man they're really cool I got a pair of Supras Barons and Jim Reds. Camo Converse Lows. These are like a vape inspired shoe. We have the Jordan 3 True Blues here. And then we have another pair here. Two pairs of the Jordan 17s. We got these waterproof Converse Lows. Another pair of Thin Silate Converses. Some Hyper Dunk. Roshi Runs. Converse Moderns. Raptor 7s, these are kind of crazy. These I actually bought off a lady in a retirement home. Someone donated these to her, she sold them to me for 100 bucks and then used the money to put towards her church. I thought it was a great initiative and I got a really dope shoe. So I could never sell these, man. These just mean a lot to me. Some more Converse, Bugs Bunny 8s. And lastly, I'd like to conclude with the ugliest sneaker to ever grace our retinas. These are called the Ectio Breakaways. They are a performance sneaker that has a built-in ankle brace that prevents you from rolling your ankles. You may be totally safe on court, but you will not be safe from being roasted after the game. Nah, but for real, this is a dope shoe on court. I actually wear it pretty often. All right, Crew Kicks family, thank you very much for having me on the channel. If you made it to the end of the video, then you probably like my other videos. Go ahead and check them out over on my YouTube channel. Definitely go ahead and hit this video with a thumbs up. I'm your dude, Heat signing out. Peace. They just want to hold me back. No one really had my back. Stuck in the lab, what's that? They don't even know my path. Gotta get it quick, not pass. Who knew that I had that scope? Who knew that I had that dope?